Hi everyone, so prepare yourself for a pretty product heavy video, but in this video I'm going to talk you through my top picks for makeup for the upcoming season of autumn winter. And this is a really exciting season in, ter season in terms of makeup because I feel like the colours are really beautiful and it's just a very um, cosy, beautifying type of season. So whereas in the summer I would tend to go for kind of more dewy natural skin, a kind of peachy blush, maybe a bright kind of coral or orange lip and not much on the eyes I wasn't wearing much on the eyes at all during the summer I was just going for very kind of um shimmery plain lids during this cooler weather I like to wear a little bit more makeup and it's a little bit more fun to experiment and it's probably a little bit more fun for you guys to watch these types of videos for me as well because my makeup is a little bit bolder when it gets cooler so the first thing I'm going to start off with is foundation and I definitely do change my foundation up when it starts to get a little bit colder because I feel like I need a little bit more coverage my skin gets quite red when it's cold and windy and I like to just have a little bit more coverage whereas in the summer like I said I, I like to have kind of a dewier foundation so the two that I've been reaching for are the Makeup Atelier Waterproof Foundation. Now this is really fantastic because obviously as the name suggests this is waterproof. Waterproof products are fantastic during the cooler months because it rains here a lot. Um, if you live in the UK you will know it is a very rainy, damp, wet country and this is great because it really stays on your face and it's got great coverage I'd say it's kind of medium buildable coverage lovely finish and it's a little bit paler which is nice when I'm not wearing any self tanner like today and then the other one which I'm absolutely loving at the moment I've used this non-stop for the past week and I'm in love with it is the 17 stay time foundation which looks like this. This is what I'm wearing on my face today. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. Really, really lovely coverage. Um, very kind of beautifying and great for this kind of season when your skin might be a little bit not um, kind of dry, but just not looking its best. This is a really nice foundation for that. It gives that kind of beautiful finish and it's got great coverage and great, great price as well. I think I might do a kind of full face of 17 soon because I've realised I've got so many products from them that I really, really like. So really, really love that. Then in terms of blushes and bronzers, I definitely like to change things up. I don't tend to go for creams anymore because I feel like they don't really sit on my face as nicely. I tend to go for more... Um, powders and different types of shades. The one I'm wearing on my face today actually is a fantastic um, one for autumn winter and it's the Avon blush. I love their packaging, it's so Chanel-esque and it's the Ideal Luminous blush in Soft Plum and the colour doesn't look like anything in the pot but when you apply it it's just a really beautiful kind of soft plum sheen. Um, very very pretty and just very easy to wear beautiful for this time of month as well and just a little bit different and then if I do want something that's kind of a little bit brighter because I've got the type of complexion that definitely needs blusher I'll go for something like this which is the MUA blush in marshmallow because it's not super summery but it's still bright enough to give you that pop of colour but it's a little bit more cool tone so it's more flattering if I'm very very pale and I just want a little bit of blusher this one by natural collection which is pink cloud is great it's fallen out of the pan so I'm going to have to hold it like that because it's just a kind of soft muted not too much colour um, which is nice when I'm very pale and another one that I like is Maxwell Dressed I only wear this when I'm pale because the pigmentation of these is pretty poor but when you are pale this is nice as I said it looks bright it's not because the pigmentation isn't great and then in terms of bronzer I definitely swap my bronzer for something a little bit lighter because you don't want to look orange and I feel like the kind of winter light is a little bit harsher and this one I love I used this all of last year and I will be using this again Again, it's the what's this called the make-believe um, enhance the enhance bronzer enhance sunbeam bronzer yeah this is what it looks like I love this color it's just a beautiful kind of not too bronzer um, in terms of kind of not too bronzy and orange but just very natural and very pretty and my hair why is it doing this because this is just not cute I don't know, whatever, we'll leave it. Um, and then I do like to kind of have something slightly more shimmery and a little bit more um, that gives your face that luminosity. And I like these kind of shimmer strip products. This one's by Milani and it's the Milani Glimmer Strip in, what's this called? Berry Glimmer. And if you kind of just use the top shades, swirl all together on your cheeks, very, very pretty. And again, it's that kind of soft, plummy colour. And then this one right here is by Lily Lolo, which I just want to show you the packaging of this because it's so beautiful, the packaging they've got with that kind of little white print everywhere. I just think it's gorgeous. 
but this is their shimmer strip and this is in um, rose glow and the packaging of this is gorgeous as well but this is what the actual product looks like and it's just a kind of stripy shimmer brick very very pretty shimmery gives enough of a kind of luminous finish without being a glitter ball and just looks really really beautiful so next up we have eyes and I've got quite a few products that I think are really nice for eyes during this kind of t this time of year I definitely like using waterproof mascara just because like I said it gets very rainy and I feel like my makeup kind of smudges a little bit easier my favorite waterproof one is the Maybelline the rocket um, volume this is actually my second tube of this I love this to death and I've also kind of been getting into wearing liner a little bit more, which isn't something that I usually do, but I have been swapping between these two mainly. And this is the Zoeva um, Nude Reflection Graphic Eyes, and it's just a kind of nudey, shimmery eye pencil. I'll swatch a little bit here for you. It's just a kind of brownie, nude, shimmery colour. Very, very pretty. And I've got this all over my upper lash line today and I just kind of like to smudge that out and use it just to kind of enhance the metallicness and I love having a kind of metallic eye. And then if I want some kind of an inner corner highlighter, I've been using the MAC, um, I think this is called, it was from the Icecapade collection, I can't remember what this is called and the writing is all rubbed off but I'll have to look it up. But it's just a shimmery nude eye pencil and I've just been kind of painting that in the tear duct area and it really helps to kind of highlight and make everything look lovely and then this is a new um, offer by Revlon and this is the Photo Ready Kajal and it's their intense eyeliner and the brightener and they do a black and white one and this one as well but this is the khaki and nude one and the khaki shade is just a really pretty kind of greeny shade but the nude one is really lovely I'm wearing this in my waterline today and I really like it you know I love the Rimmel Scandalized nude pencil this is really nice as well and it's kind of a little bit brighter and then in terms of eyeshadows, I definitely, as I said, like to wear things that are a little bit more metallic, kind of rusty and autumnal. And um, I think during Christmas time, I tend to go for kind of more of a bright lip. And this time of year, I like to kind of have more of a autumnal eye and a stronger um, lip colour later on. But I like to go for nudes as well. So I'll talk about lips in a minute. But today on my eyes, I'm wearing the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze, which when you say bronze, you think summertime but this isn't that type of color it's a very deep warm rusty bronze so very very pretty I'm wearing this on my eyes today all over and then I've just got a little bit of this Lily Lolo um, plum crazy um, the dark shade blended into my crease so this kind of shimmery brown shade it's not kind of doing it justice really once you see it swatched you'll see what I mean it's just a kind of shimmery plum lovely shade and it's very warm it's kind of almost got a sort of cranberryness to it so I've applied that kind of in the crease and blended it out I'll come a little bit closer in fact so you can actually see but it's just a kind of warm pretty eye look and I do definitely like to kind of wear um, purples and things like that a little bit more which is about as adventurous as I get I don't do color when it comes to eyeshadow but this eyeshadow by the body shop is lovely this is the um, color crush in great expectations I love the name of this but this is what this looks like and it's just a kind of pretty purpley deep colour and a couple of MAC ones but like that as well. This one I think is, I can never remember what the name of the MAC purples are that I like. I think it's Beauty Marked. No, Sketch. So Sketch by MAC I really like because it's just a kind of semi-matte deep pretty plum colour and I love wearing that and also two colours that I go to toward, that I gravitate towards during this time of year are Tempting and Patina by MAC to these two right here. They look very similar but Bettina is a little bit more grey. I also really like antiques but I can only wear this kind of in small dosages because it can make my eyes look a little bit tired. And for evenings out and things like that I will go for kind of a very dark smoky eye but it's always with kind of rich tones because I just think that looks nice this time of year. My two favourites for those are Urban Decay Smog and Dark Horse which are these two right here. And by the way, um, on my blog, I'm selling my Urban Decay Naked Palette too because I never ever use it. So if you want to um, get your hands on that, have a look in the description box because I'm selling that one on there. But those are my kind of picks for eyeshadows. And then in terms of lip products, I have got quite a few here. If you want me to do a kind of full lip um, video, then I will because these aren't all my choices. But as I said, I like to wear kind of 
slightly nude or more muted lip um, if I'm wearing a very bold eye but you can't have something I feel that's too nude because if you're paler it does really wash you out so the two favourites of mine are this one by The Body Shop it's their colour show off, is it colour show off? no, colour crush sorry in 315 and it's just this beautiful peachy nude it's much more of a nude than a peach very very pretty and a lovely kind of moisturising formula and quite glossy which I like during the winter and then this one is Rimmel's Spotlight Beige this is an old favourite of mine you can see this is a favourite by how much I have left and it's just a very beautiful nude that looks nice on my complexion and great because it's not too, too nude. It's still got a little bit of peachiness in there. And then I do also, as I said, like to have a bowl lip sometimes. The one I'm wearing today is this lovely, lovely lip gloss by Revlon and it's their Colour Burst um, lip, I think it's their Colour Burst lip gloss in Adorned. And the colour of this is just amazing. If you see it very closely, it's got loads and loads of little particles of blue shimmer in it. You can see there. It's kind of like a little girl's wet dream, this colour. It's just so pink and vibrant and beautiful. It's got a lovely little applicator as well, which is quite unusual. It's this kind of flat dome for applicator, but it's just really lovely. And it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I'll put a little bit more just to kind of show you how vibrant it is it's very very long lasting it's not sticky it's not chunky glitter it's just a really really unusual lovely product and i'm definitely going to pick up some more of these because the color is beautiful and especially for this time of year it's just so festive and lovely i'm saying festive we're in october calm down um and then another great bright one is this bright pink one here from lily lolo again they're doing really lovely kind of um autumn winter stuff at the moment and this is called pink passion i've worn this loads in the past couple of weeks and it's just this kind of bright sort of raspberry color i will well i'll swatch up my other hand it's quite sheer but it's not hard to wear it's very flattering you could just with all these colors if you're intimidated just dab a little bit on and then kind of blot it away and it'll still be very pretty but it won't be too in your face that's a really nice one and then this one by 17 which I really like it's there in feared which is just a beautiful red it looks very dark and kind of boring but once you swatch it you'll see it's actually really really beautiful and it very um, it's a kind of snow white red to me this one right here just a true bright very flattering red I really 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 recommend this it's a beautiful colour and um, they're the stay pout ones so they stay on your face a really long time which I love but that is my top picks um, on my nails I'm wearing OPI's Vampsterdam I'm growing my nails a little bit at the moment which is something that's unusual for me but yeah I'm wearing that on my nails today so just in case you're wondering my hands look like crazy person hands but that is what I've got on my um, hands and if you want me to just quickly run through what I'm wearing on my face as well as I said my foundation is is the 17 stay time foundation my concealer is another 17 one I haven't mentioned in this video my cheeks are the Avon soft plum which I'm sure I mentioned previously and my eyes I've just got on a mixture of the Lily Lolo shadow the Maybelline color tattoo and the Zoeva liner and the Revlon one in the inner part I will just come closer again to show you even though I've already shown you just so you can really see it properly and my lips are the Revlon lip gloss that I mentioned which I absolutely love so I would love to know what your favorite product from all the ones I've mentioned here is and what your favorite kind of makeup looks for autumn winter are but I'm really excited about makeup at the moment normally I'm kind of a little bit more into skincare but lately I've just been really into makeup and been very excited about it and I'm really talking a lot with my hands so I am going to go now I hope you enjoy this video as I said let me know all your recommendations and your favorites and I will see you all in my next video bye